How are you all doing? So today, let's talk about how to dress to impress and attract men. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. It's your girl Benita. I'm an image consultant and visual branding and I help women create outfits so they have a wardrobe they love. On this channel, we talk about body confidence, image building, styling tips, fashion, and beauty. Please, if you're new to this channel, do me a big favor, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I post new content. So ladies, today's video is really important and that doesn't mean that other previous videos are not important. And I'm talking about how to dress to impress and attract men. So let's look at it this way. If you want to attract anything in your life, say you're looking for a job, you have to dress well for the job interview. So if you want promotion, you need to start dressing for the job you want and not the one you have. Same thing if you are looking for a relationship. You kind of need to dress in a manner that will attract the kind of man you want. Men are visual creatures. They are very, very visual, which means they get excited about what they see more than what they hear, feel, or experience. This is the reason why physical attraction is so important to men when looking for a female partner. And that doesn't mean that physical attraction is the only thing that matters. It just simply means that it's an important factor that is going to affect your dating life as a woman looking for a male partner. So when I'm talking about physical attraction, it includes but not limited to your body, the way you present yourself, and the clothes you wear. The important thing is that when you first meet a man, or even if you're seeing him for a second or third time, for whatever reason, he's going to be seeing you clothed, right? So let's look at this picture. This picture, have you ever been in this situation before? The picture is clear and probably says it all. But for the sake of clarity, I'll explain in details. Have you ever been in a situation where you're going out somewhere? Maybe it's a first date or a second date, or perhaps just a social event, and you're stuck there trying to figure out what on earth you should wear. And it's even more annoying when the man you're attracted to is going to be there, and now there's even more pressure on you to wear something that will impress him. You sit there wondering and pouring for hours, asking all your girlfriends if they are around exactly what you should wear and what you look good in. There are some important rules you need to follow when deciding what to wear when your priority goal is to impress and attract men or whoever you want to attract. So, rule number one, Wear something you feel confident and comfortable in, but don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. This rule is very important. You could wear the most beautiful outfit in the world, but if you aren't confident and comfortable in it, men will see this from a mile away and they won't be impressed or attracted to you at all. That's just how it works. The best case scenario from that is that men will approach you with the intention of getting a one night stand out of you. So if that's what you're looking for, then I guess it's perfectly fine for you not to be comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. So the point I'm trying to make is that when you're trying to decide what to wear, you need to make sure you aren't going to spend the rest of the day or the rest of the evening while you're out and about looking at yourself constantly and wondering whether or not you look sexy and if men are taking notice. Let me share the secret with you ladies. Beautiful and confident women deal with themselves. 
before they leave the house so that they no longer have to focus on their appearance once they are in the eyes of the world of men or when they are out doing what they like doing for the day. If I haven't already made it clear, men do not like it when women are constantly checking themselves to see if they are looking attractive. It's completely unattractive because it shows your insecurity. So now, let me add this point. It's more important that you wear something you are comfortable and confident in than it is to wear the most beautiful outfit in the world. There's this saying, it's not what you wear, but how you wear it. I'm sure you've heard that word before. I'm not just making it up. However, don't use everything I just said as an excuse not to try and get out of your comfort zone. I know it seems like I'm contradicting myself. Let's say you are the type of girl that you always like, you always rock jeans and t-shirt and never wears dresses. If you're going to a club that is going to be full of people, then it's probably not the best time for you to jump out of your comfort zone completely and bust out a dress. You can't be comfortable in that dress because you never wore a dress before, unless you suddenly booming with confidence. So let's say on another day where it's a hot summer day and you're meeting your friends in a park for picnic. Well, this will be an ideal time it will be an ideal time to try out a dress. Why? Because there's so much less pressure on you. After all, it's just a day out in the park. So once you start developing confidence with new clothing items, be it dresses or skirts, then you can start wearing them to more social events where you would want to meet and attract people. Do you understand, please? So the key here is balance. You have to learn to balance out being confident and comfortable with getting out of your comfort zone to improve yourself and how you dress in order to impress and attract men. Also, timing and scenario are key. Choose the right time and scenario to jump out of your comfort zone. One step at a time, eventually, you'll be much confident in pretty much everything you wear. You'll be one of those ladies that just seems to be able to rock everything and still look damn sexy. Trust me, you can get there. Believe it or not, men are attracted to a wide range of clothing items. And sometimes a simple t-shirt paired with the right shorts is more sexier than a lingerie or a full dress. So rule number two, dress correctly for the occasion. This is so obvious, but I still see women making this mistake so often. The thing is, as soon as people read dress correctly for the occasion, they automatically think about dress code. That is one thing they think about. This is important as well, but it's not specifically what I'm, I, I want to talk about. I'm not talking about party dress code. So when I say dress correctly, for the occasion. I'm talking about the fact that you need to dress correctly for whatever it is you're going to do on that day. So let's say a friend invites you to join them and their friends for a hike. You don't know who their friends are, but you know some of them are going to be male. So in the back of your head, you want to wear something that will make you look attractive. So instead of wearing a jogging bottoms, or a shirt with trainers and a t-shirt, you wear a dress with high heels. You may look sexy at first, but once the hike starts and everyone can see you struggling, you immediately turn from looking attractive and sexy to looking like a fool. I mean, sure, some men might find it endearing and come to your rescue, but that's not necessarily an effective game plan. So as, I, as you can see from the example, it's important that you dress correctly for the occasion or whatever it is you'll be doing that day, rather than focusing on your appearance. So this mistake is most common among women. They are way too consigned with how they look, they, that they forget that what they choose to wear won't be practical for what they are doing. Another example, would be if you were to spend a day in the park. 
and you decide to wear a dress because it's a hot summer day. Why that make logical sense at first? Because it's the norm. Think about what you'll be doing at the park. Will it just be a picnic and a conversation or will anything physical happen like frisbee throwing, football or using the swings? In that case, perhaps shorts and a vest are more suitable. So that obviously depends on you though. The main point of this ground rule is to focus on what you actually be doing on a specific day and what clothing items will be appropriate for it. So first, go for dressing for the occasion and then dress to impress. Rule number three, use accessories effectively and uniquely. I've always noticed that a simple accessories like a wristwatch or a bracelet on a woman can make an outfit look much more attractive. The thing is, the accessories that you choose to wear often say something about you, especially to the eyes of men. For example, if you're wearing a sporty watch, then that implies that you are a sporty and an active person. If you wear a more normal fixed clock, then it might imply that you are good at keeping time. If you wear a necklace, then that implies that you actually care about your appearance, which is a good thing. So wearing accessories is also very effective as a conversation starter or an easy compliment. Believe it or not, men try to shy away from the traditional compliment that involves your eyes or your hair. Some of them even find it hard to start a conversation. So by wearing accessories, you're allowing men to easily find something of yours to compliment without being cheesy. Now, the trick is to wear a unique accessories or accessories that stand out so that they attract attention and allow easy compliment from men or whoever you want to attract. I don't mean you have to pull a Lady Gaga look. I simply mean it's worth putting some thought into next time you decide which bracelet to buy. What I suggest you do is simply set yourself up with a range of different accessories that you can use to mix and match with different outfits so that you always have something unique about what you're wearing. From wristwatches to bracelets to necklaces or scarves or hats to gloves. So don't be afraid to broaden your horizon and try something completely new. So these are my three rules on how to dress to impress and attract men or whoever you want to attract. So these are my tips. What are yours? Share them in the comment below. And before you go, you know what I want you to do? I want you to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell because I have a lot of amazing video and I don't want you to miss it. So subscribe before you leave. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also my Instagram ID has been on the screen throughout the video. So you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram just in case you might want to see two or three pieces I put together. It's your girl Benita. Until next time, you take care of yourself.